my name is Brad Cunningham. Today I'm going to talk about using the built-in application commands in WPF. We'll start with a simple example here. I've got a, a main window and inside that window I've created a doc panel. And in the doc panel I've put a menu item and a rich text box. So if we look at the designer above you can see the rich text box here is this, this white space on the bottom. And then I have an edit button here as part of the menu bar across the top. And what I want to do is I want to implement a couple of really common commands that you may use in, uh, say, a text editor or anywhere where you're allowing text entry. Um, the first two are going to be copy and paste. Those are going to be pretty familiar to everybody. And WPF simplifies this greatly by having some built-in commands uh, for copy and paste and cut as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a menu item underneath the parent edit menu. And I'm going to do that. I'm just going to say menu item and you look at the menu item, you can see that there's a command property on the menu item. And I'm gonna go ahead and set that command and you'll see right away when I, when I complete that IntelliSense comes up and it's gonna show me some of these um, built-in commands. So we can see that copy is one of them and I'll go ahead and create another menu item and we'll come back in here and we'll see that paste is, is also one of our options. So that's all we're gonna do, we're just gonna create a menu item, and we're going to set the command to copy and set the other command to paste, and then we've got that rich text box. And let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. So I'm going to type in some text here, and then I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to say edit. And you can see I even get shortcuts to show up here Control C, Control V, and I've got copy and paste. So I'll go ahead and say copy, and then I'll come in here and I'll put some space here, and then I come up, and you can see copy now is disabled automatically for me because I don't have any text highlighted, but paste is still available, and I'll go ahead and click paste, and you can see that just works. Also, I'll go ahead and delete all this, and I'll type some other text, and I'll highlight it, and I'm gonna press Control C on my keyboard, and then I'm gonna put a few spaces, and I'll press Control V, and you can see that that's all hooked up and works correctly. And now you can see copy again is grayed out because we have nothing highlighted, but paste is still available to us. Okay, now let's add one more command to our menu item. We're going to make that cut. So I'm going to come in here and add another menu item. And I'm going to just say that its command is cut. And then we'll go ahead and run this application again. And we'll type something in here. We'll say some text to cut. We'll highlight the whole thing. And then we'll go ahead and say edit. And now cut's available with a control X. So it's got the right shortcut key. We'll go ahead and say cut. Now you can see the text is gone. And copy and cut are now disabled because we have no text highlighted, but paste is available. So I'm going to go ahead and click paste, and you can see that it comes right back. And of course the shortcut keys works as well. I can highlight a piece of this text. I'm going to press Control X, and I'm going to press some spaces, and then I'm going to press Control V. So cut and paste works. So just showing a quick example here that cut, copy, and paste are all available to you by default, built into WPF with what's called the application commands. And those application commands uh, no, and the, the rich text box knows how to work with those application commands by default. So there's two pieces to a command. There's going to be a command source and a command target. And the command source in this case is going to be our set of menu items. Each menu item is a source for the command. And that command is whatever specified here, copy, cut, or paste. And our command target in this case is the rich text box. And it's the object that the command is going to be executed on. Now there's a couple different ways that you can specify the commands when you're using the built-in application commands. You can type it in simply by pressing by typing copy like I've done. Uh, you can also prefix it with application commands dot, right? so we can say application commands dot cut, and that will work as well. We'll go ahead and run this real quick and show that that cut still works. Control X, Control V, we'll highlight it again. Cut, paste. So you can specify just the command name in the case of application commands. You can prefix it with the word application commands dot to be a little more clear. Um, or you can also reference it the static class and say x static application commands dot and then your command and then close it. Okay, so those are the three ways that you can reference application commands in your WPF application. And if we look at the object browser to see what application commands really is, so we'll go up here and take a look and we'll say view object browser. And I've got a search here for application commands and you can see that 
What application commands is is simply just a class that inherits from object, and there's a list of commands hanging off of them. And if we look at any one of these commands, you can see that it's a routed UI command, and it's going to tell you that it's a, a value that represents the, the paste command. And you can see all the other options you have here, what's built into application commands. And there's a couple more that we can use as well, so we'll add one or two more here. We're going to add another menu item. And we're going to say command, and we'll try to do, say, toggle bold. And we can add uh, toggle italic. And then we're going to go ahead and run this application again. So we'll say make this bold and italic. So we'll highlight the whole thing. We'll go up to our edit menu and we'll say toggle bold. And now our text is bold. And we'll go in here and say toggle italic. And now our text is italic. So some really handy built-in commands. We'll go ahead and press toggle bold and take it off. And I'm pressing control I and control B here and they work. So there's some really handy built-in commands in WPF, all part of the application commands class that you can use very easily by anywhere anywhere that a command source is expected, then you can just give it the application commands name, in this case copy, or you can specify it application commands dot cut, or you can use the fully qualified static resource markup extension. Uh, sorry, the X static uh, X static markup extension. And say X static application commands dot paste. Okay, that's it for using the built-in application commands in WPF.